This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. Hello, this is Jose from Ask Questly, and I'm here to help. Uh, the question that we had today was um, how to implement a UI sound to a button, to a uh, call to action button. Uh, and also that the button is linked, so it takes you to to the uh, another page that you want to link to. Um, so here's an example of what we can do. And it should, you know, this one is taking us to a contact page. Um, as of right now, we can't implement it directly onto a uh, menu. So uh, that would require a little bit more of JavaScript. So we're trying to do this under 10 minutes for you to get it done. Um, but if you do have a button that you can use on a regular page like this, here's how it's done. First, what you want to make sure you have is the sound itself. You want to make sure you have the MP3. Um, and we're going to send you the code as well. Um, I have all this code right now for you to create this button right here. Um, so the way to do this is once you have your actual UI sound, what you want to do is create a button. Just simply create a button. So you'll go and create a button. And for the button, all we're going to do now is we're going to upload the sound, the MP3, to the Squarespace server for your website, okay? So you'll go, you click the URL, and you go to Files. You'll click New File, and I actually have the file right here. And all you can do is just drag it, put it in. I already have it up here. It's the Beat Piano MP3. And what you'll do is just, you'll click it, this little pencil right there, and just copy, control, copy, control C, to copy the name of that. And we're going to need that because you need to remember this right here, slash, S, slash, and the name of the file. This is the folder that your website is. So what we'll do is here on this next step, this button doesn't matter anymore, so we can actually delete that. And what you'll do is you'll copy the um, the code that we send you, and everything is basically laid out already for you. This will tell you this is the the UI the UI sound that you need to do. So here on the source code, this is where you're going to put that code that we just got from the button once we uploaded the thing. So as you can see, it's already inputted there. For yours, it will be whatever sound. Uh, you name that UI sound dot mp3 okay uh, but always make sure that you have the slash s slash and the name of the file on there um, and then down here this is where we link to the page that you want once the your visitor has clicked the link that page is going to take us somewhere else and to do that it's directly here just change that to the page that you want to do if you're keeping it uh within your page or you know if you just uh want them to go to a different page on your on your own home uh, website just do slash and the name of the page and down here is where you're going to style the actual button so if you want to change the sizing for this say we want to do instead of 15 we want to do five you can see it makes it shorter. We can do this 10. Make it short so you can do it accordingly to your website and to your liking. And then the rest, basically, um, if you want to use the same font as you're using in your uh, website, a good thing to do is that what you can do is basically when you've created a button, if you want to style it the same way, one of the easiest things to do will be just have the button there and you can do a left click to inspect it Oop. there we go sorry and you'll see basically here the font family it'll tell you which font family you have and you all you can do is just copy that and paste it directly in the code here back down there and you just want to you know do the same just copy it 
and he'll change that and then the rest is pretty much self-explanatory with the rest of the thing and you can change the color the background color and all that say so if you want to do it red it can be red like that same with this so that way you have a little bit more flexibility of making that uh cta button will pop out more and stand out more from the rest um but yeah that's basically how it is if you have any more questions just go ahead to the website and ask thank you was this helpful ask a squarespace question now askquesty.com